Hi friends, welcome back. Regal Smith here. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to make this extremely simple five minute lavender oatmeal soap. So we're gonna need four ingredients. We're gonna need a melt and pour soap base. I'm using goat milk. You can use shea butter, whatever you need. So we're gonna need one pound and this is a one pound brick. We're going to need some lavender essential oil, ultra soothing to the skin, some dried lavender and some oatmeal blended up. So here's what we're gonna do, is we are going to chop up our melt and pour base. So this is one pound of the melt and pour. I'll have the recipe written up below for you. And you're gonna heat this up in 30 second increments until it melts completely. It's gonna take about a minute or two, depending on your microwave. And so to this mixture, we are going to add in one third of a cup of oatmeal. This is just regular oatmeal that I ground up in my blender a little bit to make it finer and to feel a little bit better on the skin. So we're gonna mix that up. And then we have one and a half tablespoons of dried lavender. I'm gonna use about one tablespoon in here and then I'm gonna save the other half a tablespoon for the molds. I'll show you what I'm doing in a moment. Okay, and then we're gonna mix in about 40 drops of lavender essential oil. Now you can get creative. You can use other essential oil combos. I have another recipe below that is same five minute soap blog, but it includes spearmint and rosemary and it smells incredible. That's one of my favorites. Uh, this one's really good at nourishing the skin. That one is a little bit more herbal. It has a brighter aroma. This one is ultra soothing to the skin, especially with that goat milk. So we're gonna mix this all up. And the inspiration from this recipe came for DIY essential oil gifts. So I rounded up the best of my DIY gifts on my blog and I put them all together in one blog for you. It's below this YouTube video description. And you can check out all these recipes, including this one, and have fun making gifts, whether it's for Christmas or Hanukkah, birthdays, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, Girls' Night, just because you'll see a whole bunch of fun recipes that you can try. All right, so that's it. We've mixed up our melt and pour soap base. I'll have that linked in my Amazon store if you're looking for it. We've mixed up that third of a cup of blended oatmeal. We've mixed up about one tablespoon of dried lavender and around 40 drops of lavender essential oil. So next we're gonna pour it into our molds. I have these really cute molds that I found on Amazon. I'll link them in my DIY beauty store. Um, but they say 100% handmade and it's super cute when the soaps come out they say 100% handmade, which is really fun. I also use these for lotion bars, and I'll have that recipe linked in my blog as well. And if you don't have molds, don't worry about it. You can use silicone cupcake molds. Uh, I've used those before and they work just as well. You can find all sorts of cute molds if you're gonna make a lot of soap on Amazon. So because the lavender tends to float, I like to put some of that extra reserved dried lavender right in the bottom of these little molds, just like that. A couple little sprinkles. And then they kind of have some that'll sink to the bottom. It'd be really cute. Okay. So that looks pretty good. And then it's as easy as it sounds. It's melt and pour. So when you pour this, you want to kind of stir it a little bit to keep the things separated. You want to keep that oatmeal separated. You wanna make sure not all the lavender comes out into one. And we're just gonna pour it in here. This would be really fun to do for Christmas gifts or a girls' night, have some people come over. These will solidify in about an hour or so, and you can even speed that process up if you put these in the fridge. So they'll be done before people leave. And I think this will make about nine of these. Let's see if I'm correct. If not, I have another mold I can grab. Okay, there we go. Oh, yep, we're gonna need a couple more little molds. So let's see how many we're gonna make. Here's number 10. There we go. And that one doesn't have as much lavender, so we're gonna sprinkle some on top and mix it in there a little bit. Oh my goodness, this smells so delicious, my friends. And you can get creative. You could use any combination of essential oils that you wanted. Frankincense and lavender would smell really lovely. 
sandalwood I really like for skin. Maybe some of that vanilla, the new Mandarin vanilla would be lovely. Okay, so it looks like I made about 10. And so after they set up, I'll show you what they look like. So then we just have the little molds. Okay, so once they're completely hard and it doesn't take very long, then you can pop them out and they look like this, and they have the 100% handmade. You can see the little flecks in there of the dried lavender, the oatmeal, and then this is something that I do, it's completely optional, but when these dry, sometimes they have a little bit extra of the lavender that floated up, so what I do is I actually just cut off really thin slice with this huge knife. You can use a more appropriate knife. Um, but I just slice off on my cutting board just one little tiny sliver, like this, off. And then I throw this in my next batch of my soap. And then what it does is it leaves a really nice looking back. That's very clean looking. And it looks kind of like this. Okay, so it takes off some of that extra. That's an optional that you can do. And then you can wrap these however you want. I just used some kitchen saran wrap that I had and then put a little label on the back that says handcrafted oatmeal lavender goat milk soap with my website. So really fun to gift. So below I will have a link of the best of DIY gifts using essential oils from my blog. Here's a preview of what's gonna be on there. There's gonna be a sugar scrub, a few different versions. Definitely check out the ginger spice. That one is my favorite, especially around the holidays. There are bath salt ornaments, so how to make spa bath salt ornaments. They're super cute. Another five minute spearmint rosemary soap, a green tea sugar scrub. We have a no sew neck wrap that would be great with the deep blue and copaiba combo. We have a DIY dryer ball recipe, which is kind of fun that you can use to make dryer balls. Uh, bath bomb recipe, lotion bars with litsia oil, but you can also substitute something like frankincense or lavender, and it's using these same molds that I have on my Amazon store. We also have on there clay ornaments, so how to make your own little diffuser clay ornaments that you can make and put essential oils on, a lip scrub, uh, essential oil roller blends for your zodiac sign, which is super fun, especially for birthdays. And then finally, my very favorite, if you have not made this, 100% make it. I make it every year around Christmas time and gift it to everybody I know, my favorite baristas, workers, friends, family, and it is my Miracle Salve recipe. So hands down, a popular, most favorite one on the blog, make that. So DIY Miracle Salve. So have fun, check out that blog. Let me know if you try any of these and if you have any questions and we will see you all next time. And if you need essential oils, link below. Thanks everyone, bye.